What is this? What's up, y'all? It's me again, Lisa Marie, LG. Um, You know what? I was sitting here, and I've for the past couple of weeks, I've been thinking of going back down south to live and work or whatever. Uh, because I'm, I don't rock with this New York shit, uh, meaning that I can't afford to live here, number one, and if I have the money to even pay a slight little bit of rent, how the fuck am I going to eat? You know, the, the little, little things like that, those little things, they irritate me, because I don't see the point in people working, and they're not able to take care of their bills or buy food or things that that was the point of working right that that was the per point of working so I don't see why you should have 5,000 things that you should be doing should just accomplish one one thing what what your your rent you have to have three jobs to pay your fucking rent so you need a fourth to eat I'm just saying I, I'm just you just, just that's just how I, I'm feeling, and, uh, but that's what the real deal is here. Um, anyway, uh, a personal issue I'm I'm having, I'm having a couple of personal issues, but I'm gonna share them with y'all. Um, one is, I, I really want to transfer my job down south, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So, fuck it. So that means I'm gonna have to find something decent down that way, and I. I actually went to school for pipe fitting at Florence Tech, uh, Technical School in South Carolina. And I signed a contract to get in that class because you have to pass federal background. So they want to know if you can pass drug tests and federal background, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and I have to do six months worth of work. Now, bitch, I have not worked six, six months. I work like a month and some change. Literally change. Because I started in 2016, and like September, finished my job somewhere around October-ish. Then I worked in 2017 at another location for like two, three weeks. And then they were fucking done with that project, and they was like, fuck it. And then that was the end of it. And then I came to New York to be screwed over by the fucking MTA. You know, but um, because they didn't give me the test. That's why. That's why I said that. And no, it's not my fucking responsibility to fucking to tell you, the employee of the MTA, to give me a fucking test. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because if that's the case, I should get paid to do that. Because guess what? That's your job. It's yours. Like, it's my job to go out here and look for jobs. Okay. So I shouldn't have to give myself the fucking test or remind a bitch to do it. Anyway, so anyway, like I said, this is about my personal issues. Okay, so boom. Um, so anyway, yeah, Day and Zimmerman, I don't understand your business practices, your tactics, you have recruiters that select people for work, a recruiter that I have to call, I have to call them and ask them if they have any open positions at any one of the power plants. Why must I do your job? This is you guys job. This is your job. Like, if I'm hired as a janitor to clean the bathroom in the building, I have to clean all the bathrooms, take out all the garbage. Why is it I'm going to Sally, who works at the front desk selling fucking, I, I don't know, she could be selling fucking cable boxes for all I fucking care. And, and, and I'm asking her, uh, you know, when you knew the bathroom was dirty, why don't you just go into the little closet and just fucking get the stuff and just clean it? Because, bitch, it's my job to do that shit. That's why Sally didn't do that. Fucking ridiculous. Anyway, so boom. So, let's see uh, what else. Uh, yeah, but I like my Dan Zimmerman job. I liked it. You know, I like going out on the road. I like seeing different people. I like being at different power plants. And, you know, I don't mind if it's a 12-hour shift, six stinking days out of the week. They pay decent. And I can function in South Carolina. I may not be able to function in New York with that fucking money. But I can function out there. You know. So, um, 
So I'm just trying to get in contact with they fucking recruiters, which is it's just really asinine to do shit like this. You know, it just you know, it's like a lot of these companies are literally just that. They're just companies. They're not human. And they treat you as if you're some kind of robotic metal thing that you got to eventually to drop a little oil down in the in the gear shaft or some shit or, or or go over there and tweak the computer to make it do what you need to do it's just really ridiculous we're human you're humans and people didn't go out of their way to get training after training after training after training to fucking just be passed over for for work I didn't get all the education I got right now and all the skills I got in this in these different trades for fucking bullshit. I shouldn't have to keep going out fuck out mad dark as fuck, but fuck it. But um, because I'm getting ready to go into work, and you shouldn't have to go through all this fucking crazy ass shit to to get jobs. Period. Period. People get jobs and as soon as they get these motherfucking jobs, they fucking act like it, 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 they. I don't know. They they act funny. Funny meaning that you ever see someone work and they they like overdo it, and it's like why are they just doing so much extra? Why what's wrong with them? They they're one of those people that that feel that oh well if they're not doing that then it's you know then the bosses you know they frown upon you not going in extra and then well bitch what the fuck extra are you getting from that job? What are you getting? They still look at you like a schmuck. Still. And they always will. Just like the place where I'm working now. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna put nobody on blast, but I'll put my face out there. I don't give a fuck. They could run up on me or not. They could can my ass. I don't give a fuck. They won't be the first and last motherfucker.